Hey guys, it's Tina and I am back. And I figured since my hair has grown so much and it is now under boob length, it is definitely more than bra strap length at this point. And I haven't done an updated styling routine in quite a while. I'm still using my trusty InStyler and I just blow dry my hair, grab my InStyler and straighten it. It gives me a nice little wave to my hair, nothing too curly. I like my hair pretty straight, but I don't want it bone straight. So I love using the InStyler for my hair and I figured it was time that I did an updated routine for you guys. So I'm gonna show you the steps that I take to heat style my hair weekly. I do this once a week and I completely let my hair air dry on the weekend. So my wash day is Saturday. I wash my hair, let it air dry completely. That takes about three to four hours to completely air dry. And then I will go in and blow dry it and style with my InStyler. So if you wanna see my heat styling and InStyler routine, then stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. All right guys, so we're starting off with hair that's about 75% dry. I prefer to let my hair completely air dry, but this time around I'm starting off with slightly damp hair. And I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer. This is from Pibs. It's the Twin Turbo 3800 hair dryer. It's available on Amazon. It's a professional grade hair dryer and it's a little bit pricey, but it is so worth it. I had the previous version of this for years and it's still really good, but this one's a little bit more quiet. Anyway, I am blow drying my hair to get the dampness out of it. So I'm using a paddle brush and I'm just going through most of my hair, making sure I get all the damp spots out. And once my hair is about 95% dry, I'm gonna start straightening out my roots and I'm going in with a round brush. This is a boar bristle and nylon bristle combination. So I get a lot of grip from this brush and it's really great for helping to straighten out some of the wavier sections of my hair and the curlier sections. And I tend to focus mainly on the front of my hair, the back of my hair and the middle of my hair to make sure that I get those edges completely straight because my InStyler doesn't really go right up against the edge of my hair. So I try to get those areas completely straight. And then once we have that, I'll go ahead and separate my hair into parts and I'll make sure it's completely detangled at this point. So I'm going to part my hair down the middle and separate my hair into four different sections, two in the front and then two at the back. So I part it in the center and then shake it all around. Now I'm gonna grab the round brush again and try to straighten the center part of my hair as well as the middle. The middle of your hair is the place where we will show the curls the easiest, like that's the hardest part to keep straight. So I focus a lot of time on getting the middle of my hair completely straight and also the front, since the front, a lot of people see it, while the back of your hair is not that critical because it's not really in view all the time, the front is the part that people mainly focus on. So I'm separating my hair in the four parts that I told you before, two in the front, and I part along my hairline closest to my ears so I can work in those smaller sections. And I'll just pin everything out of the way with some hair clips. And I make sure again to go against the hairline especially in the middle of my head. So that center part gets really curly and I wanna make sure that it's completely straight. So I do spend a lot of time below drying that area. I am not relying on the InStyler to straighten my hair. So I try to do a lot of the straightening with the blow dryer rather than with the InStyler itself. That limits the heat of the InStyler on my hair and it just gives a better style as far as I'm concerned. I'll separate the back part of my hair again in two and then just pin one to the side. And here is where I'm gonna go back on that hairline and try to straighten that section. I don't do individual pieces. I don't divide my hair in a bunch. I just divide it in these four parts and go along the very hairline to straighten my hair. Now I'm gonna grab my InStyler. This is the one with the dual rotating barrel. So it goes both directions and I'll change the direction when I switch sides of my hair. But as usual, I run the InStyler against the roots of my hair to get a little bit of straightening action and then I will apply the InStyler to the root, clamp it down 
and do a half twist with my arm. So that's going to give a slight curl when we release it from the installer barrel. You see right there. And I don't fuss with that too much. I just leave the curls to hang while I do the rest of my hair. And I try to divide these sections in very thin strips. So I work with a little at a time. The installer does work better when you use very thin portions of hair each time. So that's what I do. I just separate my hair into little strips and it doesn't take as long as you would think. It's a pretty quick movement and it does help to straighten my hair quite a bit. And I run the instyler again at the roots and then do that half turn and turn the instyler at a 90 degree angle. So you'll see the little curl that it leaves at the end. And I let those cool as I do the rest of my hair. You don't want to fuss with the curls because the curls will loosen up and your hair will just go straight. And I like to have a little bit of a bend in my hair. Now at the very center of my hair, the middle part where I told you that's troublesome, I try to go over it a couple of times to make sure that it's completely straight before I finish up with the curl at the end. And then we'll move on to the front of my hair, which is probably the fastest part because I only divide this in about four sections. Make sure that you avoid your air because you don't want to burn it. I have burned my air so many times and it hurts. It really hurts. So just be careful right around your air. So I'll finish up on this side of my hair and then I'll move on to the second side. And I change the direction of the barrel by just double clicking the instyler and it changes the rotation. And I do the same thing to both sides of my hair. It's just that I change the angle of my hand, how I hold the instyler and how I position the instyler in my hair. And I just hold it until the curl comes out and I'm doing this real time so you can see how long I actually hold the instyler in my hair. And that's going to give me the curl and I'll let that drop and set and leave it alone, let it cool. And this is the end result. You can style it how you choose to after, but you see I have straight hair, I have a little bit of curl, it's nice and shiny. I don't have any product in my hair. I didn't put a heat styler in here because I don't like how that makes my hair feel. And I find that it doesn't really help to prevent that much damage. So I'm not really getting that many benefits from it to deal with the sticky residue after. And I don't add any shine in products either to weigh my hair down. And that's pretty much it for my heat styling routine. It takes me 30 to 45 minutes depending on how damp my hair is. So if my hair is completely dry, it can take me 30 minutes because the blow drying part of the styling routine doesn't take as long because all I'm trying to do at that point is straighten out the roots and get it somewhat straight before I start using the instyler. If it's a little bit more damp, then I spend more time because now I have to, in addition to straightening it, actually get it completely dry and as you saw, I have quite a bit of hair, it's very thick, there's a lot of it, and the strands themselves are pretty thick, so there's a lot that goes into it. If you wanna see what products I've been using as far as my hair color, my styling products, my conditioner, and my shampoo, then I will link another video here that you can check out where I go through all of that and what I've been doing to maintain my hair and keep it healthy and keep the color rich and vibrant. Definitely check that video out. And if you have any other questions or any other hair video requests that you have, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. And if you have any additional questions after you watch my actual hair care video, then definitely leave them down below and I'll see what I can do to respond to you. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.